we got the toy. Yeah, we're going to do a toy. So, I wasn't going to do another video this soon because I just posted one this morning. But, um, I went to the store to get just regular stuff for the pets. And I came across this. Um, it's called the Buggin' Out Puzzle and Play. So, it's one of those cat puzzles. It's similar to the one that I have already for the ferrets. But, it's a little bit different. And it's got three stages. So, I'm really excited. I want to kind of see if they like it. So I figured we would do it all together. So let's open it up and see what they think. Okay, so let's open it up. Oh, we got ferrets. Hi! Can mama open this? <laughs> I need to open this. Excuse me. Oh, hey Bubba. Um, excuse me, mama's gonna open this. Okay, we're gonna try to open this. So it looks like we have some, oh, we have, they make all kinds of puzzles. So here's tips and tricks. Okay. So here it is. It looks like this. I don't know if they're going to be able to get this out of here. They want to know, what is it? All right, let's read it. So, okay, are you moving it, huh? So these cover this, like this. Can we show them how it works? Look, let's show. Okay, so they can move these. I'm not sure how they would get the treats out of here. Does this come? <laughs> She's like, look, they know. What, did, what goes in there, treats? All right, let's see. Let's put some treats in it. Let's figure it out. Okay, so we're using chicken liver as these freeze-dried chicken liver treats. These are, they're um, just freeze-dried chicken liver. So what happens is if you put this under here, in here, and they push it, it'll fall into the hole and they can eat it or you can cover it up. So let me fill these up. Okay, so if you put the piece in the hole like this, and then they push this and you move it back, it's in there. So that's what we're gonna try to get them to do first. So I haven't put it in all of them, just some. So here we go. Let's make sure we have them not on the holes. All right, here we go. Here we go, okay. Oh, you did it. Did you figure it out? Push it. You push the push it. You can do it. There you go. Now, now push it back. Now push it back, Bubba. Good girl. Mama missed the whole thing. Her did it. Her did it. Did you figure it out? Look, Weasel, right here. Now push it back, push it back, Weasel. You're smart. You can do it, Weasel. Push it, Weasel. Come on, you got it, buddy. There you go. Weasel, Weasel. Push it, Weasel. Good boy, Weasel. Come on, you got it, buddy. There you go. Yay! Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Let him have his treat. All right, we set it back up. We're going to do the same one again. Just to see, because I want to give him a chance to learn one at a time. You got it, buddy. Keep pushing. Push it, Weasel. Oh, Sissy just did it. Sissy, okay, okay, okay. don't pull it.
one we're gonna put the leaves over like this I'm sure they're gonna figure this out because they do and then I have to stop because they're gonna eat too many treats Look, you figured it out. They, I don't know why they always say number two is the hardest. Then there, it's, they don't miss a beat. You figured it out. Oh, you did good. You two is gonna be so full. So obviously that was no harder than the other puzzle I got for them. <laughs> so they just figured it out in like 13 seconds. That's so funny. I need something tougher for them. They just are smart. <laughs> if you notice, Bear doesn't want anything to do with it. And he doesn't really want anything to do with the other puzzle either. He just doesn't want to play with it. So I don't know. And for all of you who are wondering, I will be doing mine live. Um, I'm waiting to be able to put a community post up so that I can give people kind of like a heads up before I do it. So um, I should be able to do that the next couple days or so. Uh, I'm waiting for YouTube to kind of put that um, feature in place for me. But uh, it takes a little bit of time after you get a thousand subscribers. So like about, a, this is like a week or something. So hopefully it'll be soon. And then hopefully I'm going to do my live next weekend. So I'm really excited. So I'm walking around right now because um, they're out playing and they're, I just like to keep an eye on them. So they're running around the house. Well, the upper part of the house. What are you doing? Oh, you are cute. This is kind of what we do every night, really. Hi. Hi, in the Joey M box. Let me have this. You can't have this. Oh my goodness. Is there another one in there? Okay. You can't have that. That makes you sick. Um, so this is kind of what we do. We let them run around. They basically do whatever they want. Their room is a disaster right now. Oh my goodness. It's so messy. Um, but this is what they, what are you doing in there? What are you doing? Weasel. What are you doing? Okay, so if you're wondering why Weasel is like extra off balance, like ferrets bounce into stuff anyway, but Weasel is like ferret times 20. Um, that's the result of his broken leg when he was a baby. So even though they fixed his leg, he loses balance like 50, like so much more than everybody else. And he limps once in a while on it. So the vet said there really isn't a whole, whole lot that they can do. It's just like if he plays too much, it starts to get, I guess, just weak a little bit. I'm not really sure. I'm going to take him back to the vet that did the surgery, but she is like two hours from me. She actually changed completely. Like she works somewhere completely different now. But um, he like is like so much more off balance than everybody else. And it's definitely because of that leg. But he's happy. He doesn't really care. It just makes me feel some kind of way because he's always like ricocheting off of everything. And it breaks my heart to see his little gimpy legs sometimes. But I don't know. 
You don't want to work for it? 